What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to touch on something that I forgot to mention in the last video about using the MPC 2.0 software inside of the new Studio One Volume 4. I didn't mention how to use uh, additional tracks on the when you when you have the MPC open I showed in the past how to use the MPC as an instrument inside of Studio One but there was one step that I forgot and the reason why I forgot is because I was having issues myself and a, and a couple of days ago uh, Concrete Zebra from Craftmaster Production put up a video on how to use the machine, you know, native instrument machine inside of uh, Studio One Four. And he had like 16 or 17 uh, instrument tracks with the machine. Now, if I do this right here and I drag another instance of MPC, this is what happened, right? So I can't have more than one instance of the MPC. So what ends up happening is that what the step that I forgot, or I just been overlooking, I've been overlooking it for two years because you know, if something don't work, just move on to the next thing that works in production. You know, we don't want to have these roadblocks. So, right here where it says track, add instrument track, right? You could do that or make sure that disappeared. All right. You could press T. And it is say type instrument, you know, you have different types. So you want to test, you want to have instrument. You want to put it to MPC channel one. You want to make sure output is existing instrument. And you also want to put this to MPC channel one. Press OK. Then you want to come over here. You want to expand this section for inputs. You want to put it on MPC. And for output, you want to put it on MPC Live. Now for the second track, you want to, it's already set. So now you have the MPC right here for your instrument. But for up here, it becomes the uh the module it's it becomes an external div device basically so all your external devices you can tab through them basically so now that we have this set up i can then go into the mix area, expand the instrument and tick off these additional tracks, right? Now, 
that's simple enough right so now i could add my uh my mix tool i don't no longer have to bounce down the tracks i can come over here and go down to c2 inside of the uh inside of the mpc inside of the uh the edit window right here i could create from using this or using you know a keyboard so what you want to do you want to go inside of your the mpc plugin you want to go over to this little box here you want to go down to edit program and note mapping now when you set up the npc right a1 it, it'll be on classic npc so a1 will be c sharp one right so if I go back into here and I press C2, you can see that it no longer translate to the MPC. You want to go back here and you want to set it to chromatic and that becomes C2. So as you can see, all the pads go in chromatic order. So therefore, we're able to play chromatically across the um, the key bed. So that's the step that I was missing. I, I forgot to tell you guys in the last um, video. And that's because, again, I overlooked this step because I've been having difficulties with setting it up for two years with the other Studio One um, 3. Uh, I really... I didn't realize that when we were adding tracks, we could have changed it to instrument tracks. I was just adding audio tracks and then record directly from the MPC into Studio One. And that worked for me. So, you know, I was able to make that work. So now you can now make adjustments to the mixer you know once you have this this op um set up you can then add your your mix tool this thing will open up you can then highlight everything you know go in here add your mix tool right you could make sure everything is in the same color range i think that's the same color right yeah you make sure everything's in the same color range just make it red and now it's much simpler when you're in here instead of having to bounce down everything you're just able to just work right so the other thing is that you can work directly inside the npc itself right i'm gonna just put a quick some a quick little pattern uh, this
So the other thing that you can do is right here inside of the NPC, you have the export MIDI function. So you could click it, you could export the MIDI. And what you can end up doing is dragging the MIDI directly into Studio One by just dragging and dropping. Then you could select all the, the MIDI notes that you have here and delete them. And then press play and you still have it. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta take off monitor. That's just me messing around. But that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to show you guys. The, the drum program, the pattern is not the best pattern at all. I just wanted to show you guys the simple steps. Uh, if you know what you're doing, how to get around it. Um, it could be a really fun thing to do to not have to bounce back and forth in the MPC software and then bounce down the tracks and then come into the MPC, I mean, into Studio One Floor to mix it down. You can just go ahead, get your ideas across right here, get it on the, um, get everything lined up right here and create your, your music. You can also bounce down the, um, the tracks to, to audio. So then you don't, you no longer have to work with those instrument tracks. You could bounce them down the audio if you want to. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope this helps someone out there. I know I was all over the place in my explanation, but I hope I got the point across. So if there's any comments, concerns, be sure to post that up in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can at my most earliest convenience. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA, y'all. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Till next time. Peace.